Hi guys, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Um, today we are going to be showing you a used 2019 Cimarron 3-horse LQ with the Proline by Outlaw Conversions interior. Um, so this trailer, like I said, it is used. A uh, gentleman that purchased it before, he had it for a few months, decided he wanted something bigger, so he traded it in and got something bigger. So we have it here now. So today I will show you this real quick. This is just a base structure of a Cimarron. So you'll see the roofing right here, how it is honeycomb. It's about a half inch thick R3 thermal values. So that roof really nice to have winter and summer. It's going to help keep that heat in in the winter, keep the heat out in the summer. Um, it's going to help reflect that light. You'll see over here the structure of the upright posts. So a rectangular structure that's going to make them more solid and not as bendy the longer they get. And then you'll come down here and you'll see the structure of the flooring. Um, you're going to have four inch centers and then the V actually provides 60% more shear force than the typical I that they had had before. So they upgraded their flooring to something even stronger than the original Cimarron flooring. So we'll start here. Um, this is going to be stock number 5U191373. Twenty nineteen Cimarron Northstar three horse LQ used. Underneath, you'll see the hydraulic jack, propane tanks, your house batteries, battery cutoff switch is all under there. What's the convenience of a battery cutoff switch? In this? So your battery cutoff switch, when you are not using your batteries, you make sure you turn that off. Otherwise, um, anything hooked up to your batteries can drain it. So, so if, they leave, if you leave your light on and you forget to turn your cutoff switch, that's going to sit there and drain batteries the entire time. So you hit that cutoff switch, that's going to cut off all power to the batteries. Even when the lights are still left on? Even when the lights are still left on, that'll cut the power to the lights and turn them all off, and that way you're saving your batteries. So this is a Proline by Outlaw Conversions Interior. Proline is very um, price competitive and that's why we like to do them. Um, they're still the same build of an outlaw, just more price competitive with base packages. Excuse me. Um, we can, we got a bunch of different packages we could show you guys if you're ever interested in looking at them. We could definitely do that. This trailer comes with the screen door, so if you wanted to hang out, you can definitely throw that screen door shut and call it good. But we'll take a walk inside and we'll kind of see what it's all about, and I'll show you some features and, um, specs on this trailer. This trailer has a 12 foot 8 short wall, no slide out. So you've got your bed, plenty of storage up there. You can kind of hear the AC running. I turned it on today because it's a little warm out this morning. So right up here, I'll show you this. The trailer has a bunk on it. So you can use it as a bunk or you could even use it as storage. You could do it both ways. So you pull this bunk down, it's extra sleeping space, and then I'll show you real quick how to do the, let's see here, pull this one up. Let's see. Okay, and it's easier when you're up there in it, but um, that goes all the way down. And then you've got your bunk storage up here, or bunk, so extra sleeping space. And then if you didn't want it, yeah, it's pretty good size. I mean, I could probably sleep up there and I'm pretty tall. <laughs> Haven't tried yet, maybe one day. Um, but super easy to use, you just fold it up, bring it up, and then it clicks in right there, and then right here on this side as well. So it just clicks in. And then let's say you didn't want to use it as a bunk, Take those cushions out and there's actually locks on the inside of these and you could open these and use them as storage. Bed folds down couch. into, or coach couch <laughs> folds down into a bed. <laughs> so extra sleeping again. Um, it's really nice because this trailer without having that slide out on it, it still gives you plenty of sleeping space. And then, yeah, let's look at the water tank under here real quick. 
So that is your fresh water tank. Nice to use all the storage for stuff like that. Yep, so lots of lots of storage in this trailer. That's the nice thing about Outlaw conversions and Proline. They try to put as much storage in these as possible because they know you're on the road, you need as much storage as possible. So you've got your TV up here. TV is on a swivel, so you pull down, pull out, so you can move it around. Whoever wants to watch, you're in bed, you can watch it up there, here from the couch, even the bunk. And then it just clicks back in, and so you can store it when you're driving. Stereo system? Stereo system right here. I don't know if you can hear it, but I've got it playing. Um, radio, AM, FM, you can do the DVD, goes to the TV. Um, you also have Bluetooth on it, so you can connect your phone. And you do have your outside speakers, so you got two of them. Two outside speakers, so if you want to hang out at night, during the day, whenever you want to hang out, throw that electric awning out, and you can definitely have that music playing too. I wanted to just point on these real quick, day and night blinds. So you got day blinds, and then night blinds on all windows. Yeah, super nice to have. Um, that's gonna be very helpful when you're, I mean, anywhere you're parking. And that way you can close those up and you don't have to worry about people peeking in and everything. So we'll go back, I'll have her walk back there to the kitchen. Um, kitchen is gonna have the double burners. You've got your sink, microwave. This isn't a microwave convection, but you do have your microwave, you do have your burners, plenty to use. Got your hat racks above the door. And then your generator start button is right here. Generator's got 33.5 hours on it. We've got it running right now. Get us some AC and some lighting and everything. Um, just more light switches and the awning switch. And right down there, you do have your fire extinguisher and just a magazine rack or whatever you please to use it for. Lots of, lots of nice detail like on the backsplash. Yeah, look at that. Sense. that the brass of the backsplash. I really like this backsplash. That's what sold me on this trailer personally. <laughs> really nice. Luxury details. Luxury details for sure. And then day and night blinds on this one as well. So then you got the refrigerator over here. Fridge. Lots of space. And then you also have your freezer. And then some more storage above it. I mean, they put storage wherever they can find it. That way you have plenty. Walk back in there to the bathroom. There, this bathroom is awesome. It is huge. Big bathroom back here. And this trailer has a 12 volt on-demand water pump, six gallon water heater. And then it's got a 60 gallon fresh water tank, 30 black, 30 gray. And there's your shower with your skylight above. Um, I know that just it's more comforting if you're a tall person in that shower. You've got that skylight and more head space up there. And then I want to show you guys this closet. This is what I was talking about. Plenty of space, plenty of storage in here. So you've got this huge walk-in closet back here. And then here in a second, I'll have her turn around and I'll show you this other cabinet space you've got behind the toilet more storage this trailer is tricked out for storage like it's got plenty in here and then you've got your little vanity and then you also have behind the mirror even more storage medicine cabinet yeah <laughs> got your walkthrough door that goes into the horse area And then all of Outlaw Conversions and Proline, they all have custom hardwood cabinetry. So everything in here you see is custom made, custom stained in their factory up there or down there in Stevensville. Um, quality work for sure. Definitely best I've seen out there. And then I did touch on the AC a little bit. That AC is actually going to be a, let's see, a 15,000 BTU with the heat strip. And then you've got a 16,000 BTU furnace. So AC turn on. You've got your switches. We sorry, we kind of bypassed this here a minute ago. But you got your pump, your water heater, black, um, gray, black, fresh battery. And then up here, 
it's going to be the AC heater. So you just switch through here, right here. You'll go cool low, cool auto, then it'll shut off automatically, auto high, heat, gas or electric, and then you can turn it off too. So here in just a second, we'll hear it turn off. So I don't know if you guys heard that difference in the noise, but um, they see I just turned it off, so it flipped off. But that is gonna be your interior there. That is a pro line by Outlaw Conversions. Um, Outlaw, they will warranty this trailer until the original purchase date. And I believe that was in July of last year. So got a couple more months until that warranty does expire. Um, Proline comes with a one year warranty, whereas Outlaw Conversions comes with a three year warranty. So just a couple differences between them. Um, but we'll take a look at this trailer on the outside and in the horse area, look through it. So you've got your um, electric awning and your speakers to the exterior. And then back here, we'll go with the, uh, we've got the bus or bus style windows, hay rack up above, generator box. And then you come down here to the tires, you got the aluminum wheels. And you also have uh, 7,000 pound Dexter torsion axles. Those are nitrogen filled tires. So. Um, nitrogen is going to help you run cooler down the road. Um, nice thing about it, let's say if you were something were to happen, you had a slow leak or something happened to the tire, if you fill it up with air, you can take it to your closest dealership or uh, tire repair place and just say, hey, this is nitrogen filled, patch it, and then get it refilled with the nitrogen. And most technicians will know because that little green tab on it that it is a nitrogen filled tire. So we'll come back here to the horse area. So three horse, still got your insulated roof back here. Um, insulated roof goes all the, through, all the way through the trailer. So those insulated roofs come standard on Cimarron trailers. So even in the LQ, yep, the standard on all Cimarron trailers, you don't have to upgrade to insulated roof, you get it automatically. And that's really nice for the Cimarrons. You've got your stud stall up above, padded dividers, You've got, um, come to the back, I'll kind of show you how these latch in. I love the Cimarron latches because they just pop in. Super easy, and then you just pull, and they come out. And they're spring loaded, so it's gonna automatically fly backwards. Um, up here, you've got your feed bunks. So, feed your ponies going down the road. You do have a drain at the back stall. Um, really nice to have. Even if you're not even going far, I know I like feeding my horses in the trailer. It just makes their stomachs calmer and easier. Some extra bridle hooks, that walk through door. Opti bright lights back here. It's gonna be nice in the dark. You've got plenty of lighting. And then you do have, so I'll shut this real quick. You do have the butt bar as well. So you can close this off and that way your horse isn't trying to back out right away when you open this door. This trailer does not come equipped with a ramp, but we can definitely get one installed. Pretty simple to do here. Um, we've done it multiple trailers. Looks fantastic. Our shop does a great job with them. On the back here, we've got a collapsible rear tack. So if you didn't want to use it for tack, you can definitely pull that saddle rack out and collapse that down. Yeah, so we'll talk about the flooring real quick since we looked at that model. Um, so the aluminum floor is underneath, and we had sprayed this out yesterday, so it is still a little bit. Um, but your aluminum floors, those are, so for every four inches, you got a center with the V. That is the extra 60% um, shear force stronger. They're a tongue and groove type flooring, so they come together and latch together, and that helps with the strength as well. Um, the aluminum floors, we recommend Pull your mats out twice a year, spray it out completely, let it dry, and then you sprinkle down baking soda, and that's gonna help counteract the acidity of the urine, and that will help with the longevity of the floor. Because when that urine sits and seeps into the aluminum, after a while, it does start wearing at it. So you gotta make sure you're keeping up on maintenance and keeping up on cleaning that floor. Otherwise, 10 years from now, if you're not paying attention, you could have a floor that's not where it should be. Yeah, CJ did a demonstration of it a few weeks ago. Um, definitely go find that on our Facebook page. 
and uh, um, Cherish is going to post the YouTube link below in the comments so you can go link to that and take a look at it and see how we recommend taking care of floors and pulling mats. Blanket pull right here, swings in and out, really easy access, gas shock, and then you've got your um, brush box right down below. And then on the back of this door, I'll show you guys this real quick, you've got your ladder to get up to the, the roof, and it is an easy angle ladder. So you're like, what's an easy angle ladder? If you've never seen it before, it's awesome. So you pull up and then you pull down and that allows you to go up the trailer at an angle. That's gonna be easier to get up there, easier to get down, really handy to have. If your current trailer doesn't have one, we can install one in our service department. We can definitely do that here. And then to get it back up, all you have to do is slide it back up and then it pops in you'll see right here just pops in and that way it's not sliding anywhere so pops out and then when you're done pop it back in yeah so really nice ladder your lights interior exterior um, just all your lights to the horse area back there and then we'll come over here got your ties generator fill tank so gasoline generator uh, owning 4,000 that's what's up there on the roof. And then you've got mangers. So plenty of storage in your mangers. We could add extra bridle, bridle hooks if you wanted extra bridle hooks back here. Just more storage for you. Drop down windows on all three stalls. And then you also have the great set come down. So if you're traveling down the road, want to check on the horses real quick, offer them water, whatnot. All you got to do is come right here and pull that down. So you can throw your bucket in there and call it good. <laughs> Come up here to the escape door. Um, so you're just hauling two horses and you want to use this as storage, you definitely can. That's the nice thing about having that stud stall in that first stall. Uh, the storage capacity that you can use if needed and wanted um, is definitely there. Put hay in there, hay on the roof, you're gonna have plenty of hay access and I mean, plenty of storage. And then this escape door does have a drop down window. I'll show you real quick. So it does have a latch back on it. That's nice, not gonna be blowing around in the wind. Um, but it does have the drop down as well. So super nice. Um, Cimarron thinks of everything. Really nice trailers. Um, but we'll come over here and we'll kind of see, this is your, your city water connection city water connection um <laughs> your your plug-in for the um power short cord power it's going to be the back of your refrigerator and then your water heater or the water heaters on the other side that's for your furnace um and then your fresh water fill because remember we saw that fill tank that fresh water tank underneath the, the couch um this is where you're going to fill that out up at Okay, and I hope that bug doesn't come after me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Not a fan of bugs. <laughs> is there a spigot under here to access that? that there is a spigot, so it's going to be right there next to your propane tanks. So if you're hauling down the road and want to offer the horses water, but you stop somewhere they don't have a, a hydrant or anything, you can actually take from your own water source and then give the horses water. So you're going camping, horses have water. You have water. Everyone's got water. Um, but this trailer, so it's sitting at 10,760 pounds empty and then 27 feet on the floor. And we're also going to have, um, this one's eight feet wide and seven, seven tall. So super nice trailer. That's a 2019 Cimarron North Star three horse LQ pro line interior by Outlaw Conversions. It is used, this trailer is used. Nice thing about it being used, somebody else took that hit driving it off the lot right away. You know, everything's got depreciation as soon as you buy it. So this trailer is, I mean, for 2019, you're getting a good deal on this. So definitely let me know if you have any questions on it or any other trailers that we have on our lot. Um, we can do videos on any of them that you might be interested in. Uh, we've got plenty of inventory right now. Um, three horses, four horses, two horses. No one horses, but 
maybe someday. <laughs> we've got some bigger ones as well, six horses, eight horse. I mean, we've got plenty of inventory and we want to show it to you guys. So if you want any, you want to see any of them, please let us know. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call. My phone number, 303-684-3451. And that goes to my desk phone and it will transfer to my cell as well. Um, so if I don't answer them either on the other line or with the customer, so leave me a message, I'll call you back right away. Um, or you can email me at Morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N dot Noll, K-N-O-L-L, at transwest.com, and I can help you out. We look forward to doing business with you, and thanks for tuning in.